Father, we thank you. Indeed, you are the God of the extra mile. And Lord, we are ready to go the extra mile with you. Where you lead us, we will go. Where you take us, is safe. And we know, oh God, that with you, nothing shall be impossible with us. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you adoration. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, church, put those wonderful hands together. It can be better than that, amen. Thank you, Lord. The God we serve is a faithful God. I said the God we serve is a wonderful God. Hallelujah. The God we serve is a wonderful God. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this moment, I would like you to join me as we appreciate our father, your father, my father, the bishop of this great ministry, the great servant of God, the one that has given me the privilege to be called a wife. I'm so glad that I am a co-partner with him in this business, the business of raising change makers. Women of Grace, please join me. Appreciate Bishop Dr. Benjamin Osamo Yokedion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir, for this privilege. It's an honor to walk with you in the things of God. Amen. Tonight, it's a great night. And I know your life is not going to remain the same again. I said your destiny is going to take a turn. And I believe I'm talking to people who are ready to change the narrative. Whatever it is that has been happening, you have an opportunity to change it. Going the extra mile. When we hear the word going, we talk about movement. So you're not permitted to be stagnant, so you move. You move. Come on, tap your neighbor and say move. Just keep moving. Going means to move. To travel in time. To navigate continuously. You know, the word going is continuous. So you don't stop. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep going. Keep going. Keep forging ahead. All right? So there is no stopping. I said there is no stopping. It means you are not dying. And it means you are not dead. So as long as you are not dead and you are not dying, keep going. Amen. And you must go to carry out an obligation. You go to carry out a task. There are so many tasks ahead. So you have to go to accomplish it. To make progress. All round progress. May that become your destination. You move. You go to change things. Amen. Now you're looking at the word extra. Going the extra. Extra. When you hear the word extra, it tells you go beyond what is due. Over and above the usual. Making an extra move. Making an extra effort. How many of you are tired? And you are tired. But going the extra means no matter your tiredness, you just still forge ahead. When you are knocked down, don't let them count on your opponent to say your opponent has won. Stand up. Hello? Tell them the battle is not over yet. An additional effort outside the normal. It is my prayer for every one of us that we will have the resilience to go the extra mile. And that takes us to the mild. A mile to exceed expectation. To go beyond expectation. To bend over 
backwards. The call of duty to over deliver. <laughs> After this conference, you will begin to over deliver. You will begin to over surpass. Praise the Lord. If they say this is what your abilities are, you are going to prove to them that you can go beyond it. You have the power. You have the ability. You have the strength. You have the capacity. You have the capability. You have the audacity, your authority to go beyond. Nothing will stop you from today. I said nothing will hinder you from today. Why? Because you will take it over. Hallelujah. Don't give up too soon. Go ahead. Keep moving. Irrespective of the hurdles. Irrespective of the challenges. Keep moving. Because it's the key to success. Amen. Every one of us have been endowed with several gifts. God has empowered every one of us. There is nobody that is not empowered. God has empowered us. And your empowerment to begin to speak. Hallelujah. I even would define going the extra mile as the responsibility to say, I can. And the responsibility to say, I can, will push you through the extra mile. That's the strength that you need. It will push you through. When you tell yourself, I am able. Praise God. There is an element on earth that has been able to weather the storm. It's called gold. Somebody say gold. Say gold. Come on, say gold. Gold went through the extra mile to become what it is today. Many of us today, we are wearing gold or the like of gold. Very attractive. Gold went through the extra mile to become what it is today. It is accepted by all, loved by all, cherished by all. There is nobody that hates gold. We have it in wristwatches, in neckbands, earrings, leg chain, hand chain, waist chain, all the matter of chains on our hair, on our clothes. Gold accepted by all. From today, you will become golden. I say you will become gold itself because you will be accepted by all. Originally, gold. was no form, has no form, and it was void. If you see gold in its natural state, you wouldn't want to identify with it. But it went through the fire. It went through the process. It went through trials. It went through hardship. It went through everything, suffocation, whatever it hit, for it to come out shining. I want you to know that where you are now is that but where you are going is pure. Where you are now is black. But where you are going is shining. And as long as you keep your eyes on where you are going, you want to go the extra. It's painful, but you are going through it. It's hurtful, but you are going through it. It's not palatable, you are going through it. So your transformation is now. Because where you are going is too dark and black. For God to become God, it went through. So you have to give attention to it. You have to give it serious thought. Praise the Lord. God. From today, people will begin to identify with you. People will begin to call you blessed. People who want to have you as their friends. People who want to associate with you. People who want to come to you for counsel. 
Why? Because God has pruned you. He has tried you. He has tutored you. He has lectured you. He has trained you. He has chastised you. He has taken you through. Many people don't want to go through. And as long as you are not going through, you will not become golden. The Bible says Siva was tried in the furnace of the earth. How many times? Seven times. It kept being purified. So that the dross can come out. So that the darkness can come out. So that the pains can come out. And make it glorious. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Honor and respect and value. Will come to you. In fact, you will become very expensive. You know why? Because God would have taken you through. So when you come out on the other side. You become better. I say you will become better. Come on, tell yourself, I even I'm going to get better. I would do everything possible to go through the extra mile to become better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No wonder the color that we have chosen this year. Our color is what? Huh? Black and gold. So it's dark on this side and it's golden on the other side. So I'm going. Come on, tell your neighbor I'm going. And it's going to take you extra strength. I'm going. I'm going. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Philippians 4 verse 13. It's our scripture for today. Philippians 4, 13. It says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Can you say that word again and again? Until your spirit accept it. Come on, come on, come on. I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Again, I can do all things through Christ. That then personalize it. Yvonne can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. The first one there is I. Who? Yvonne. Who? Yvonne. Okay, John. Who? Even on occasion, the mother of Jessica. Who? See, the thing is this. There are a lot of evils, but not all are even on occasion. <laughs> oh, glory! Even if you are even on occasion, are you also the mother of Jessica? Wow! You know, in life, there are so many coincidences. So many people will say, ah, it was just a coincidence. It cannot be too much a coincidence that you will begin to leave in my house address as well. Praise the Lord. I have an identity. I. I have an identity. I have an authority. I know who I am. Who are you? I'm a woman. A woman. Man. A woman is elastic in nature. You can accommodate. Praise the Lord. Come on, can we give God glory? Let's give God honor. Amen. He made us a womb man. He made us an extra man. A man with an extra. Praise the Lord. There are things we can do that a man will not dare to imagine. I'm telling you. Hello? There are things we can do that a man cannot think of even imagining it. The Bible says when men are saying there is a cast down, women will be saying there is a lifting up. I didn't write the scripture. I just added a little extra. So when your man is saying there is a cast down, you the woman stand and say, honey, there is a lifting up. You talk up, you don't talk down. 
I because you know yourself. Make this happen. You are elastic in nature. When you look at a woman, you look at it, she's so small. But dare her to do some certain things, you'll see that she has a womb. Elastic. You will stretch. I say you will stretch to that challenge. And then you bounce back as if nothing has happened. You do that thing and you take that feat. And then you come back as though it's not you that even did it. Why? Because you are the God by yourself. Doing the extra things. I. Don't lose your identity. Don't lose who you are. Don't lose your personality. Don't let any circumstance dictate for you. Let no circumstance dictate for you. Let no situation dictate for you. Let not your mind tell you that you are not able. You should know yourself. In Judges 5, 7, he says, everything ceased until I, even, arose, a mother in Israel. You can't do it. Everything ceased. Nothing was happening. The whole place was deserted until I, even, arose. Arise. Come on, call your name and say, arise. 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 Get up from your slumber. Wake up. Wake up. Do you know who you are? You know who you are? <laughs> you don't know who you are. If you know who you are, you will know you can't dare anything. Praise the Lord. And he says, I, evil, I, 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 I can. I can. What is telling you you cannot? What has told you you cannot? Tell yourself, I can. I can. I can. Can you? I can. Can even? I can. Can reach? I can. Can Cynthia? I can. Can joy? I can. I can be healed. I can be favored. I can be lifted. I can be blessed. I can have my babies. I can put to bed. I can get married. I can. I can. I can. I can. There is no limitation. I am limitless. I can expand. I can. Oh, come on. I can. I can. I can. Let nobody tell you you cannot. Tell that person. I can who art thou, O great mountain, before even ah, you are not a mountain, you are a plain. You don't say who to a mountain, you say who to a personality. There are some personalities, they have made themselves a mountain before you. Go and level them. Go the extra man. Look it in the eye. You say they are locking the gate against you. <laughs> Look at that gate and say, lift up your head so he gets. Not get gets. Gates of productivity. Gates of fertility. Gates of provision. Gates of promotion. Gates of protection. Gates. Lift up your head so you get and be lifted up. Ye everlasting doors that I, even, may come in. Greater works that have done shall ye do. When you read the scriptures, let it minister to you. Look it, look at it, look at it. Begin to dot the I's and cross the T's. It's not about what they have told you, but it's about what you have discovered for yourself. What have you discovered for yourself? I have seen that I can. I can. Can you? Can you take the city? Samson took the city. You will take the city. 
God told Abraham, he says, as far as you can see, have I given to you? Many people are looking, but how many people are seeing? Looking is physical. Looking is ordinary. But seeing is spiritual. Seeing is going the extra mile. See it in your eyes. Genesis 11, verse 6 it says, See that nothing shall be withheld from these ones. What they have imagined to do. What have you imagined to do? What have you imagined in your heart to do? You are well able. Many see themselves as grasshoppers. Are you a grasshopper? He says, as he said, what you what you have spoken into my ears, that is what I will hasten to perform. God wants to hasten to perform something. May you give God something tangible. Give God something tangible. Give God something tangible. Give God something tangible. The power of God is hitting a lot of people here. Give God something tangible. Give God something tangible. The Bible said before the Holy Ghost began to create a world came forth. Let there be light. And there was light. Give God something tangible. Give him what to work with. Give him something real. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not, it does, you don't have to see it for it to be. You just create it. Calling those things that be not as though the way I can. I can. You can. You will. And they will see it. You can. You can. You can. You can. Let it form reality within you. He said the word was made flesh and it dwelt among us. Let the word be made flesh within you and bet it. God has made you a joyful mother. Come on, claim it. Hallelujah. No more miscarriages. No more miscarriages. No more miscarriages of vision. No more miscarriages of dreams. No more miscarriages of imaginations. No more miscarriages. Who said that thing and it come to pass when God has not commanded it? I decree today that every imagination of darkness, it will not stand. Neither will it come to pass. I can. I can. I can. Nothing stopping me. Get mad. Get crazy. Get stupid. Get nothing. Just make sure you have results. Nobody argues with results. Results silences the mouth. People will want to rise up and say, hey! The Bible says the proverb shall cease. That proverb about you will cease. Receive that word. That proverb with you, it will cease. I bring it to an end. In the name of Jesus. Philippians 4.13 I can do. I can do. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. It shall become a reality. I can do. I can do. I can do. I can do. Three days ago, I was thinking, I said, why is God preserving my life? There are many things I would have taken in my life, but God is preserving my life. Is he preserving my life for a day for somebody to just come and kill me? Is that why he's preserving my life? Let me tell you something. If you have an opportunity to roll the wheel of destiny, if it rolls, it rolls and rolls, and then it stops on an arrow, and his points at Stephen. You all know Stephen. At the point of death, he began to look, say, Lord, receive my soul. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing Jesus. Receive my soul, oh God. They, were, they stoned him to death. 
if he points at Stephen, say, no, I can't be Stephen. Roll it, use your hand, turn it, and put it on Elisha. You can't cheat, provided you get what you want. If it is the will of God, you will have it. Don't take nonsense. I'm not Stephen. I'm Elisha. Why? They came for his head. They became blind. That is where I choose to stay. That's the corner that fits me. I don't want to be in Stephen's camp. I want to be in Elisha's camp. Kalebaya, Lakoshaya, he that hideth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hey, Lekosia. I hide under the pavilion of God. Hey, he said, I will fret not because you are a shield over me. They came for Jesus at a time, at a point. They said, Where is he? Where is he? He said, I have the power to lay down my life, I have the power to pick it up. When I read the scripture, I choose where I want to go. I select. I go the extra mile to check. I go the extra mile to check. I can't be defeated. The Bible said that the arrows that fly by noonday, those that wasted, I can't be wasted. Have a destiny to fulfill. I can do. It's not the hearers only, the doers of the word. I want to do the word. When you do the word, the word will do you good. Turn the wheel to favor you. First, you have to know your ability. You should know yourself, your endowment, your capacity, and then what you are capable of doing. Na kore bahasa tayi li shalada baleke rebo kosi ananamha. In James one twenty two, he says, "Not those who are here, but those who do. But ye are doers of the word." And not here as only deceiving your own selves. How many of you do the war? You do the war. Do us of the word. That means the word eh, requires practice. Do the word. I can do. Praise the Lord. And then he went further to say, I can do all. I can do all. <laughs> I can do all. See, you have the strength. It's not by power. It's not by might. But by spirit. By spirit. That strengthens me. By spirit. The Bible says, if the spirit of him that raised up Christ dwells within you he will quicken that mortal body of yours we quicken that womb we quicken that man we quicken that situation we quicken 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 so you can go the extra there is a mile awaiting you but you need that extra strength to carry on hallelujah i can do all I can do all. I can do all. I can do all. Philippians 1 6 says, I'm confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in me, he will finish it. He will finish, he will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He will finish it. He will perform it. He will perform it. Will perform it with you, nothing shall be impossible. Don't see impossibilities. Wake up, 
when they are talking around you, correct that sentence in their mouth. Correct that sentence quickly. Why? Because you have been born out of fire. You have been tried. You have been pruned. You have been fortified. You have been trained. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I can do all. You don't have to know everything about something. But you should know something about everything. You should have an idea about everything. So when you are talking on this, you, okay, you have an idea. When you are talking, oh, I have an idea. Somebody asks me, are you a doctor? <laughs> I said, with my level of experience, I'm more than some doctors. Amen. Why? Because experience has also taught you. Praise God. Hallelujah. You should know your strength. You should know that your strength has no limit. It has no boundaries. Amen. You have to speak optimistically all the time. In Proverbs 18 verse 20. It says, a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. And with the increase of his leaves, shall he be what? Filled. So keep calling those things that be not according to Romans 4.17. Keep calling those things that be not as though they were. You know why? Because we have these treasures in eating vessels. We have these treasures in eating vessels. Yes, yeah, 2 Corinthians 4, 7. It says, but we have these treasures in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power of God and not of us. Can you hear that? Did you see that? The excellency of the power of God and not of us. So it is God that is working in you what to will and to do of his good pleasure. It is God that is working in you what to will and to do of his good pleasure. So Ephesians 3.20 unto him that is able to do exceedingly that's extra abundantly above all that's extra man. He will take you there and you will get there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Turn with me to 2 Timothy 2.20. 2 Timothy 2.20. He says, you... What did he say? But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold, but of silver, of wood, and of earth, some to honor and some to dishonor. There are vessels of gold, there are vessels of silver, there are some of wood, some are of brass, some are of clay. All right? So whatever vessel you are, God has empowered you. He has empowered you. Can you give me that clip? The vessels of gold. There are vessels of silver. There are vessels of clay. There are vessels of wood. Praise God. So whichever vessel you are, you are of importance. Give attention to your strength. Everything has a use. What did I say? Everything has a use. If you look at this microphone, it was made of something. What you use in making this microphone, you might not be able to use it in making the keyboard. Am I talking here? So everyone is useful. It's just like the way God wired your body. All right? All parts are not the same. They all have their function. 
I'm yet to hear somebody say, this part of the body is not useful for anything. Is there any? Is there any? Is it your tongue? If there is no tongue, can you talk? If there is no eye, can you see? If there is no nose, can you breathe? If there are no hearing, will you be balanced? Can you communicate? Everything is working together to ensure that there is oneness. Praise the Lord. Something struck me while I was looking at this scripture. And with this, I begin to wind up. He says, same soil, but different plants. Same soil, but different plants. Some plants, their food is in the root. All right? Same soil, but different plants with different outcomes. And all have their uses and uniqueness. Some, their food is above the soil. If you watch now, you will see the carrot. The carrot is the root, but that's what we eat. Are you aware? <laughs> Maybe somebody just hearing it for the first time. So carrot is actually the root. Yes! When they bring out carrot, it's like yam. You will now wash it. You will now clean it up. Uh-huh. Praise God. Something like ginger is in the root. But you can see by the side the sugar cane. The sugar cane is where? Above the soil. Praise God. Some of the food that this same soil produces, the same soil, the sugar cane will come out very sweet. Sugar. All right? But some will come out very bitter. Some will come out sour. Am I correct? Some will come out pepperish. Hello? So everything is in a balance. So major on your strength. Don't see yourself as I'm nobody. I'm good for nothing. Especially some people, they just look at the mirror. They say, oh, Sasa, you're slim. Some will say, oh, Say as I fat. Some will say, oh God, I know you're fine like uh, Pastor Yvon. <laughs> Says who? Who told you? Everybody's unique. Everybody is unique. I can never be you and you can never be me. When they are looking for you, let them find you. When they are looking for me, they will find me. Everything has its use. Praise God. When you need to spice up your food, the sugar cane will never work. But when you need to spice it in a way that you need it sweet, then it will come out colorful. It will come out beautiful. With high demand. So, let God use you to accomplish what he has deposited on the inside of you. So major on your strength. Major on your strength. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can. I can. Tell yourself you can. You can go the extra mile. Many have gone through the extra mile even when they were hurting. They just keep moving. They are bleeding, but yet they are moving. So let no one tell you you are good for nothing. Let no one tell you it's not better. It can't work. No. Praise God. You are beautiful. He made you okay. He made you worthy. Hallelujah. So tonight, I'd like you to jump on your feet and tell yourself, I can Tell yourself, I can. I I love Caleb. He said, let's go up at once. And let's go and take the city. At this moment, open your mouth. 
Those things you feel you cannot. Keep assuring yourself that you are able. We are able. We can. I can. You are unique. So you ought to go in this thy might. In Judges 8, 14, God began to tell Gideon, he said, go in this thy might. He said, uh uh-uh. I don't think, from my father's house, he said, no, 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 you leave all those things. Your background notwithstanding. Your academic pursuit notwithstanding. Your family background notwithstanding. Your age notwithstanding. Your uh, ability to talk notwithstanding. You can. You can. Is somebody praying tonight? Say, I can. I can. I can. I can. Thank you, Jesus. Go in this thy mind. And thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Because I have sent thee. I can. Where have they rejected you? You will be accepted. Where have you been knocked down? You will rise up again. Where have you been refused? You can come up again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray, 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 pray.